What does it take to win on Sunday? Conventional wisdom will tell you that races are won in the pits. Think about this. When the top drivers are separated by fractions of a second, time is king. And there's only one place to make up boatloads of time, pit road. These guys are rock stars. They earn their steak dinner. When one second could mean the difference between first and 20th, the math adds up. All right. All right. All right. Do you take two tires or four? Do you short fill the tank? Do you play it safe or shoot the moon? Stop going for you. Come running out. These are mission control decisions. You can come in first and leave 10th because of one lug nut. What does it take to win on Sunday? It takes all hands on deck. It takes engineers and mechanics and enough stats to make a tax return look as easy as ABC. It takes a team and a fearless driver who fight for every lap. They got that one, baby, finally! That's what it takes to win on Sunday. This is where America gets together. Every weekend throughout America, there is great NASCAR racing. I wouldn't be anywhere else. Hey, so we're here on a beautiful Wednesday night. It is June 29th. And like I said, it's a beautiful day here at 1061 Speedway. The guys are getting all lined up, ready to go. We have Adam Leslie on the flags tonight. And I am Tara Knapp. Adam's giving the white flag. Uh, in the 89, we have a guy named Tyler whose last name I forget. Then it looks like Nick Cupolo. Third, we have, um, just wait till I catch the number. Third place looks like Jeff Morningstar, followed by Steve Robinson and Sean Wilson. And Tyler, no last name. Starting with a great lead. Steve Rosen up to second place. Followed by Jeff Morningstar, Sean Wilson, Nick Cupolo going backwards. Battling with the 4K at the back of the pack. And in the 15 is, I believe that's Anton Jensen's dad. Mr. Jensen. Okay, so here we go again. Tyler, followed by Smokey Steve, Jeff Morningstar, Sean Wilson, Anton, Kevin Knapp, Nick Hublo, and the father of Anton. So a bit of a train race going on. They're looking like they're single file. Adam's waving the white flag. This is the last lap of the, and here we go, lap number 10. It's going to be Tyler, Steve Robinson, Jeff Morningstar, Nick Cupolo, Anton Jensen, Kevin Knapp, and the final two of Sean Wilson and Anton Jensen's dad. The name is to come. I'm going to go find that out right now.
The NASCAR Ride Along program puts you in the action. Go right, go right. That's it, Mark. That's it. Speed up, speed up. You catch up. Right there, right there. Oh, man, Keyshawn, you should have had that one. Come on, ref, you got to see. That's on the flag. You can't see. It was all over. Mark, that car was all over. That's fast and the Oh, sure. Now they throw the flag. NASCAR on ESPN. Hello? Okay, so there's the green flag for the second 10 lap mini feature. In first place, we have Steve Robinson, followed by the Cart Whisperer, Sean Wilson, Jeff Morningstar, Thorold Thunder, Nick Cupolo in fourth place, and the top five of Anton Jensen, the Ginger Ninja. Coming around again, Steve Robinson, Sean Wilson, Jeff Morningstar, Nick Cupolo, Anton, Kevin Knapp. Uh, we have Tyler Pachowski and John Jensen running out the field. We laid some water down on the track during intermission in hopes to uh, have it a little bit more tacky this time around. And again, Steve Robinson followed by Sean Wilson, Nick Cupolo coming up to take the second place spot away from Sean Wilson. Fourth place, Jeff Morningstar followed by Anton Jensen, Kevin Knapp and a serious battle for last place happening between Tyler Pachowski and Jim Jensen. Flagman is giving the checkers to Steve Robinson. Second place, Nick Cupolo, Sean Wilson, Jeff Morningstar. And fifth place will be the Ginger Ninja, Anton Jensen. Sixth will be Kevin Knapp, the love of my life. And seventh will be uh, John Jensen and last place, Tyler Pachowski. In just a few minutes, we'll be back with mini feature number three. And then I believe we're going to have some sort of a pit, chop, pit stop challenge race. Details to follow. The NASCAR Ride Along program puts you in the action. And this is Carmen, my niece. She's Mary Lee's daughter. Now you remember Mary Lee. This is my beautiful granddaughter, Christy. And this is... This is... Who is this? That's Stuart. Stuart? Yeah, he married Eleanor. Uh, you're right. NASCAR on ESPN. Hello. Oh, God. Okay, time trials. Next up. Sean Wilson, we call him the Cart Whisperer. Sean Wilson is one of probably one of my top seven favorite people in the world. He's very friendly and polite, and sometimes I don't see him for quite some time, but every time I do see him, it's like we just catch up as if. No time had passed at all. Great guy, the cart whisperer, Sean Wilson. And now we have the number three of Anton Jensen. Here we like to call him the Ginger Ninja. Anton's a chef at Boston Pizza. He was featured in our driver profile a few weeks back. And Looks like his cart's handling quite well tonight in the three. Okay, next up for time trials is Anton Jensen's dad, John Jensen, or Father John, as I like to call him. What a sweet, nice man. I was just speaking with him in the pits. 
Um, his shoulder's a bit sore because the one R of Smokey Steve run him over in the last event. But he's back out there and handling it like a boss. And I think that's it for time trials. So the results from those are going to set up our 20 lap main event where with five laps to go we're going to throw the yellow and we're going to have a pit stop challenge where uh, each driver has a crew member that is going to take off one of their tires, put it on the ground and then put it back on and then we'll finish with the last five, right? five laps. Sorry. All right. We will be right back. Here's a little shot of the pits. Everyone working hard and working together. And that's just how we roll here at 1061 Speedway. The NASCAR Ride Along program puts you in the action. At Talladega this one time, I blew a left rear tire doing about 190 miles per hour. Boy, you talked about a mess. And when the dust settled, about a 20 car pile. Pretty scary, huh? Listen, Chachi, I drive a cab to the Bronx at night. NASCAR on ESPN. So welcome to Between Two Carts. I'm Tara Knapp, and today we're featuring the driver of the 08 cart, Sean Wilson. <laughs> Um, he's known as the Cart Whisperer around 1061 Speedway, but Kevin Longo has mentioned that you are requesting to change your nickname. Is this true? And if so, which name would you like to be your new nickname? Well, actually, it was Kevin's idea to uh, put a poll up for a new nickname, so I'm game with whatever. All right, so um, I'm just recollecting that you purchased... Um, the most winningest cart, the ex Nick Cupolo number nine cart. Um, it's the most winningest cart here in 1061 history. So tell us about the pressure that's involved with that. Um, do you feel added pressure? Um, any thoughts about what that means? Uh, I don't really think there's much pressure. You know, it's, uh, we're just coming out here having fun, a bunch of good guys. Uh, I was, had the pleasure of renting the cart last year, so I got used to it, and it's uh, it's a rocket. He sold me a good cart. Yeah, I feel like that was a smart move on your half, on your behalf, on your half, hey. on your part. <laughs> so, I'm noticing you're you're pretty much a single cart operation here. It's just you and your truck, and uh, how. How does that work out in comparison to like the other more high budget teams? Like there are some big budget teams here, and uh, you're just coming in, yeah, kind of like yeah, like the four K. Yeah, he's yeah, unlimited money that guy. Yeah, trust me. Um, yeah. So. Oh, it's not bad. I got a good team behind me. You know, the guys back at the shop work on the cart all week long. Uh, you know, they always put the hot setup in, and I gotta thank Nick and Al. They're always over uh, working on the cart, and uh, yeah. So. Great. I saw like a whole crew of Jamie Porters here tonight helping you out, so that's good. And uh, tell us a little bit about the rest of your goals that you have here for 1061 Speedway for the rest of the season. The All-Star Race is coming up in two weeks. Um, tell us what your plans are for the rest of the season. Uh, hopefully getting victory lane a couple more times. Last week we had the rain out, but I had a couple of victories. But uh, your sister actually went in. That's the first time that this cart's had the pitcher. So, True. yeah, I got to get my pitcher up there soon. Yeah. yeah. All right. Well, thank you so much for letting us uh, talk to you here in uh, the Between Two Carts segment. And uh, this is Tara Knapp signing off and thanking Sean Wilson again. Okay, so drivers are just starting to take the track for the 20 lap feature featuring the five to go pit crew challenge. Just wanted to take a moment to send a shout out to Kevin Longo. 
he is unavailable to be with us tonight because he is working at a town. And, you know, sometimes duty calls. So I'm Tara. I'm here filling in. And, I mean, hopefully I do him a little bit of justice. But no guarantees. Still on the under yellow, waiting to get going. We have not the biggest field here tonight. I think only about eight carts racing. It's a busy, it's a busy week. It's a grad week. A lot of people graduating and uh, long weekend. Canada Day is on Friday, so a lot of people up north, including uh, Grandpa Tom. We miss you too, buddy. Brett Stratford, of course, has graduated to his new home track of Merrittville Speedway. Looks like they're all lined up. Jamie Porter is Controlling the cone, Adam Leslie on the flags. And we have pit crew members standing by waiting to change the tires. And we're gonna get going when they come out of turn four. So starting it off with Steve Robinson Jeff Morningstar, Kevin Knapp, Nick Cupolo, Tyler Petrowski. <laughs> Anton Jensen, Sean Wilson, and Father John Jensen. Okay, battle for the lead with Jeff and Smokey Steve. Kevin Knapp holding his own. Nick Cupolo coming inside the 4K of Kevin Knapp. Kevin Knapp doing his thing on the high side. And Smokey Steve holding his lead down. Getting a little slippery. Jeff takes that opportunity to go around the high side. These carts are slip sliding tonight. It's looking dusty. Jeff is not letting down. He means business tonight. Smokey Steve doing a great job. Hugging the rail. Oh. Jeff Morningstar with his hand up. We're gonna go yellow. Adam Leslie with the yellow flag. 12 laps to go. Here comes Jeff. Not sure what the issue is. Around here, we got the time. Big Daddy Al with the fuel. Good 
looking like maybe you just ran out of gas. Minor detail. There we go. Great job, Al. Great teamwork here, 1061 Speedway. Okay, we're gonna start her back up with the one of Smokey Steve, Thorold Thunder, Nick Cupolo, the Hoosier Hawker, Kevin Knapp, 89 Teller Prochowski, the three of Anton Jensen, followed by the Cart Whisperer, Sean Wilson. Then I believe it will be Father John. And then Jeff Morningstar tags along at the back of the pack. And we're going green. Oh, some trouble. Go yellow one more time. Looks like Jeff caught the tire there. Or no, that is Tyler Brachowski. My bad. Should be a quick fix. Still 12 to go. Adam Leslie gives the white flag. And we're starting single file from here on out for the rest of the season and probably forever here at 1061 Speedway. Safety is in fact number one here. And here they come. Smokey Steve leads us off, followed by 14 of Nick Cupolo, Thorold Thunder. Kevin Knapp hits a bit of a bump and is under siege by Anton Jensen, followed by Jeff Morningstar moving his way up the pack quickly. It is a battle for third place. Nick Cupolo is chasing down Steve Robinson for the win. Kevin Knapp holds down third, battle between Jeff Morningstar. Jeff Morningstar back in the top three after his kerfuffle early in the race, quickly moving back through the pack. Smokey Steve still holding off Nick Cupolo, Kevin Knapp in the third place, followed by Jeff Morningstar wanting to get right back in there, Anton Jensen in fifth place. Cart Whisperer, Sean Wilson, whispering his way through. And in the back we have John Jensen doing a great time for his uh, debut here at 1061. And Tyler's cart looking like it might not be handling the same as it was before he was all up in that tire. We're gonna go yellow because it's time for the pit stop challenge. So they're coming in and to stop in their designated pit areas. Their crew members are going to change a tire. The tire has to come off, touch the ground, and go back on. And we're doing this all as safely as possible because safety is number one. And here they all come. This is gonna get ugly. Here they go. Adam Leslie has waved the move over flag, which they designated as the flag to know that the next time around, they're gonna be stopping in their pit stalls. Everyone staying at a cautionary speed. And here we go.
Ladies and gentlemen, pit stop challenge, 1061 Speedway, June 29th, 2016. Here we go. Let's zoom in. Oh, oh. I think I just took some pictures. I don't really know. Here we go. The precision, the concentration, the dedication, and the speed. Big Daddy Al getting nice and low. We got our junior fans cheering on their crew. We have inspectors ensuring all the rules are in place. Making sure everyone's tire does come off, does touch the ground. Everyone stays at proper safe speed. This is how we do it, people. This is 1061 Speedway. We still have Smokey Steve Robinson and I think maybe Tyler Pachelski. I could be wrong. Do not quote me. And as you can see, the drivers have lined up the designated area, ready to go yellow and then to green upon Adam Leslie's command. Like, is that Nick Cupolo over there? I think it is. You can tell by his NASCAR jacket. And also the GoPro. There we go. All right, Adam Leslie waving the yellow flag. We're gonna do our final five laps of this feature event. Zoom out, okay. Everyone in the crew did a great job. There's a whole bunch of Jamie Porters here pitting for people. And this is white. We're going to go green next time. They're not lined up all that well, but I think we're going to take it anyways. We have Jeff Morningstar in the lead. Followed by, oh, making a big jump as Anton Jensen into second place. We have John Jensen, Kevin Apps coming up through the middle. First and second pretty much locked down right now. Third place, we have Tyler, followed by Kevin Knapp. Nick Cupolo, John Jensen, Ma, Sean Wilson, and Smokey Steve. Okay, three to go. Three to go. Green white checker looks like this Jeff Morningstar, Anton Jensen, Tyler Pachelski, Kevin Knapp, Nick Cupolo, John Jensen. Heart Whisperer, Sean Wilson, and Smokey Steve. Someone's in the infield. White flag, Jeff Morningstar. Jeff Morningstar praying for no yellow. I think he's pretty much got this one locked down. There he is, taking the checker flag. Jeff Morningstar, second place, Anton Jensen. Third place, Charlie Petrowski. Fourth, Kevin Knapp. Fifth, Nip Kubelo. And sixth place. You know, they're still coming around. Sixth place is going to be... Sean Wilson, seventh is gonna be Smokey Steve Robinson. And in last place, we have our rookie driver, John Jensen. 
What a finish. I'd have to say uh, it's absolutely been a pleasure announcing here tonight in place of Kevin Longo. And drivers are just coming off the track now. And I hope you all had as much fun as I did. Thank you and good night. The NASCAR Ride Along program puts you in the action. Now this little fellow is a king to do. He's one of only two carnivores with a prehensile tail. Isn't he cute? Now I've also brought two weasels. Whoops. What do you mean, whoops? Shoot. Come on back, you guys. Yeah. Okay, there's a weasel in my lap. NASCAR on ESPN. Okay, so we're standing here with Tyler Pachelski. Finished third place in our 20 lap feature. Um, he's known as the, what, the Polish Hammer? I don't know where that came from and I also don't really want to know. So uh, maybe tell us a little bit about how you felt out there and then also who you want to thank tonight. Well, that was pretty good. We were a little, a little loose. The uh, track was pretty dry. Got to thank uh, Nick for giving me the opportunity to rental. Got to thank JV for giving me a good Good tire swab there and get us a couple positions. And uh, I gotta thank Nick again for letting me come out tonight. Amazing. So congratulations and uh, I hope we'll see you back out here soon. What are, you, what are your thoughts on coming back out, uh, maybe renting a cart again or maybe getting your own cart? Yeah, it would definitely be something I'd be interested in again. Uh, I really liked it and uh, hopefully we can do it again. Amazing. Thank you so much. Okay, second place finisher, Anton Jensen. Um, how did you feel out there tonight, and how did it go with your uh, pit stop change, pit tire change thing? Pit change was good. You know, the drill uh, wasn't necessarily taking the wheel off at first, but we, we got it done. Team got it done. I want to give a big shout out to all my team mechanics back in Shenzhen, Yung, southern province of China, for making these Absolutely. motors. Yeah. Just powerful all the way through from start to finish. Track was great. A little dusty, but fun. Days of Thunder style. All right. We uh, missed you last week, right? Last time? So uh, we're glad to have you back, and hopefully we'll see you in two weeks' time for the next event. Oh, for the All Star Race! That's I didn't even—I was uninformed. Okay. I'm coming back for the win. Great news. Well, I hope to see you in victory lane then. Awesome. Cheers. Thanks. You're welcome. And behold, our feature winner, Jeff Morningstar. Um, tell us about how it went from start to finish, from your perspective, how you were doing before the pit stop, how. How it helped you in the end. Uh, give us your thoughts. We had two pit stops tonight. One when we ran out of gas. Al got enough right. gas in the first time around there for us. And then uh, came in for the tire stop and Al got us out first. And the car was handling tremendously. So the car was great. Ran great. It was a fast cart. So made it easy to go around the front. Great news. Um, excellent. Um, haven't really seen you too much this season around 1061. Uh, you raced here a few times last year, I believe. Uh, any differences, or was it just like riding a bike when you got back out there? Uh, it was the same as last year. This cart seemed a little better than the one last year, but it's, it's always fun coming out here. Great. Well, we hope to see you soon. Thank you. And congratulations. You're welcome.